in my last video I showed you my PLC trainer that I had built and I had mentioned that I had also made a control box to go along with it. So what you see here is that control box. This is one that I made. Uh, it contains four inputs and it has four outputs including my piezo buzzer right here. So the inputs I have a red push button, a green push button, a two position switch, and a momentary two position switch. My outputs consist of a red light, yellow light, green light, and the piezo buzzer. What we have on this end is an amp circular connector for connecting it to my PLC and that goes into a DB sub 15 connector. So what I did, I made this um, control box. I took a box and the box came without any holes in it. And I'm using a chassis punch, I punched the seven holes plus the hole for the piezo buzzer and then the hole for the circular connector. And if we look over on the back side then, there's a removable bottom. I added the feet, rubber feet, and then inside did the wiring. So all these have screw terminals, so it made it quite easy to wire. So my different components, my uh, four switches, three lights and the piezo buzzer, and then my amp 15 or my amp circular connector. Now what's really nice about this using it with that PLC trainer that I built is that it's a very easy way to teach people on how to locate, identify the addresses for inputs. So once this is connected up it's very easy to figure out what these are connected to. It also takes them through and to a simple program to be able to figure out what outputs are controlling each of these devices. And then very easy for them to write a simple program like a stoplight where a red light comes on, a green light, yellow light, red light, just using some basic sets, resets, and timers. And that can be added to, that can be made more sophisticated by adding some additional inputs in there. Maybe a button to push for walk, maybe a switch to act as a sensor for the car being in a particular position, things like that. This also serves as an add-on for other equipment. So if I am programming a MEC lab where the students are and I need to add some additional functionality, I can add the control box. So maybe now in addition to controlling the MEC lab, these can be indicator lights as to the status. Maybe we're doing a certain number of parts, and so as long as we're below a certain count, a green light comes on, and, and as we approach our limit, we get a yellow light, and if we approach the limit, we hit a red. Or maybe it deals with bad parts, and once we reach a certain number of bad parts, it can be done any number of ways. Maybe I have a mode switch where I need to select one of two different processes. I can use that. So there's a number of ways that this can be used in conjunction with the existing PLC, existing uh, MEC lab stations, or anything else that you may happen to control. So let me go ahead and I'll just show you that very quickly then. Here's my cable that I made. These are the two ends. So I've got my circular connector and I've got my DB connector. And this was custom made, so I added both of these connectors on there and wired them specifically to my application. So I'm going to plug the one end into my PLC, the other end into my control box here. My PLC is currently running a program like the stoplight. And so to start that sequence, I'm simply using the red button as my start and using some basic sets, resets, and timers to have it go through each of the lights in sequence. So then back to green, then the yellow, and then the red. So in conclusion, a very simple box to make, but it adds a lot of functionality to the, the trainer. Thank you for watching my video, and if you like these kind, again, please subscribe, and thank you very much.